In this video, we will review the reports available to help you understand and optimize your sponsored product campaigns. After your campaigns have ran for a few weeks, you will start to receive a lot of data about your product performance. How many times did your product appear for a search? What was your optimal ROAS? Are you driving conversions? Are you receiving impressions but no clicks? Or how much ad spend versus ad sales are you generating? One should wait at least 4,000 plus impressions to really judge the efficiency of advertising. To help you, we offer various reports. Let us dive into the performance reports, which you can access from the reports tab or by clicking into a campaign. The performance reports available are daily performance. This is the default report which provides the performance of your campaign on a daily basis. Ad group performance. The performance of individual ad groups within your campaign. Page type performance. This is the performance of which page types the items in your campaign are displaying on. Search page, browse page, item page, category page. Let us dive a little bit deeper into each one of these pages. The browse page is a subcategory pages with algorithmic item selection. So if you're selecting the monitors category in the electronics and office department, Item page. This is specific item pages. Search page. Search pages based on the customer's query. Searching, let's say, bed sets. Topic page. Custom curated search pages found from searches outside of walmart.com, such as search engines that lead back to Walmart. Category pages. These are specific category pages like the feeding category in the baby department and other. Any other pages not falling into the categories mentioned or if our beacon was unable to track which page type the shopper was visiting. Or other. Any other pages not falling into the categories mentioned or if our beacon was unable to track which page type the customer was visiting. Brand performance. This is the performance of the assorted brands within your campaign. Item performance. The performance of individual items within your campaign. Category performance. The performance of categories of the items in your campaign. Platform performance. The performance of which device type the products in your campaign are displaying on. App, desktop, mobile, or other. App is the performance from the Walmart iOS and Android app. Desktop is the performance from the walmart.com website on desktop and tablets. Mobile, the performance from the walmart.com website or mobile web and other. Performance from a platform we were unable to detect. When viewing a campaign report, the default view will include all fields and metrics. However, you can filter by different metrics like Impressions. How many times your ads were shown? Clicks. How many times a customer clicked on your ads? Units sold. How many of your items were sold based on clicks and impressions to your ad? Click through rate. The rate of total clicks divided by the total number of impressions. So let's say you had 16,000 impressions and 450 clicks, your click-through rate would be 2.81%. Conversion rate. 
the rate of total units sold divided by the total number of clicks. So if you had 450 clicks and 12 units sold, your conversion rate would be 2.66%. Total attributed sales revenue. This is the total sales revenue made from units sold within a one day of view and three days of click by default. Ad spend, the amount of advertising budget spent. And ROAS, return on advertising spend. This is the rate of total attributed sales revenue divided by ad spend. If your total attributed rail, uh, if your total attributed sales revenue is two hundred and seventy dollars and fifty cents, and your ad spend is ninety eight dollars, your return on ad spend is two point six. ROAS, the return on advertising spend, the rate of total attributed sales revenue divided by advertising spend. If your total attributed sales revenue is $270.50 and your ad spend is $98, your return on ad spend is 2.76. In addition to performance metrics and reports, we also offer a revenue summary, which breaks down where your revenue is specifically coming from. We offer click-based, which is where a Walmart shopper saw the ad and clicked on it, and view-based, where the shopper saw the ad, but didn't necessarily click on the ad, but purchased an item from that particular brand or category. In addition to performance metrics and reports, we also offer a revenue summary, which breaks down where your revenue is specifically coming from. We offer click-based, which is where a Walmart customer saw the ad and clicked on it, and view-based, where the Walmart customer saw the ad, but didn't necessarily click on the ad, but they ended up purchasing an item from that particular brand or category. Let us review these reports. Attributed direct click sales revenue. This is- yeah. Oh, sorry. Do you want to pause? In addition to performance metrics and reports, we also offer a revenue summary, which breaks down where your revenue is specifically coming from. We offer click-based, which is where a Walmart customer saw the ad and clicked on it, and view-based, where the Walmart customer saw the ad, but didn't necessarily click on the ad, but purchased an item from that particular brand or category. These reports are available in the View drop-down menu. Simply select Revenue View. Let us review these reports. Attributed direct click sales revenue. This is the attributed sales revenue based off of the direct click of the advertised item. Attributed offline click sales revenue. This is the attributed offline sales revenue based off of the direct click of the advertised item. Attributed related click sales revenue. Attributed sales revenue based off of the direct click of the same brand and category to the advertised item. Attributed brand click sales revenue. This is the attributed sales based off of the direct click of the same brand as the advertised item. Attributed direct view sales revenue. Attributed sales revenue based off of the view of the advertised item. Attributed offline view sales revenue. Attributed offline sales revenue based off of the view of the advertised item. And attributed brand view sales revenue. Attributed sales based off of the view of the same brand as the advertised item. By default, the standard attribution window is three days, which shows your campaign's performance based on a three-day click 
and a one day view. We also offer a 14 day and a 30 day attribution window, which is available in the drop down menu and shows your campaign's performance based on 14 day and 30 day click and one day view. Longer attribution windows are best used for more experience.